How's it going everyone? David from DoD Media. Today I'm going to be showing you the Moza Mini Me, what this gimbal can actually do and how it can help you with your mobile cinematography. Let's go. Just for complete transparency, Goodson, the company that makes the Moza line of gimbals, sent me this as a sample to play with. They aren't paying me to say any of this, they're just asking me for my opinion on the gimbal. And it works just like any other gimbal in terms of its basic functions. To be honest, you can follow, you can lock, you can just achieve very nice smooth movements using the gimbal in its basic function. And to show you how smooth, I'm running in 40 km an hour winds right now. And this thing is looking pretty good. Where's the camera? There's the camera! It has a bunch of different modes and they're all very smooth and it boasts a battery life of about 10 hours according to Goodson, so that's pretty good. But then there are a few additional features on this gimbal which really do make it an interesting tool for mobile cinematography, for mobile filmmakers, above all of the other mobile gimbals that there are out there. So the first one being inception mode, you just triple click the top dial there and the camera's gonna point upwards. So now you can hold this gimbal horizontally and by using the joystick, you can make the camera roll a full 360 degrees on itself and you can adjust the speed and the smoothness of that in the settings. But for this to work, you really need to try and keep the camera dead center. So imagine the axis of rotation is your lens and not the gimbal because the problem is that the gimbal there is not where the camera is, so you're going to be going off a different axis of rotation. So just try and keep the lens as centered as you can when you're doing inception mode, and it's going to look pretty awesome. So then one of the really cool features is that using the actual app, the Moza, what's it called? The Moza Genie app that comes on Android and iOS, is that you can track a subject. So you just select in the top menu there, hit that track button, and then highlight the zone that you want to track, and it's actually going to track that regardless of where it is and where you are. It's absolutely awesome. So again, if you're shooting someone or something that's moving quickly, you wanna make sure they don't leave the frame, you can just set it up to track them and your gimbal is gonna move around to keep them in frame. The next cool thing, which I think a lot of gimbals actually have a similar feature, but this one I think is a little bit more special because it's the smart time lapses where you're actually able to set up to nine points of interest throughout a smart time lapse so that the gimbal will actually move the camera around to point at those points of interest throughout the time lapse. As I said, while a lot of gimbals have this, I think it's cool because I just can't believe that for $100 you can get something that does that. I mean, go back five years and tell me that this would be on the market now at this price with these features, would not believe you. And then finally, something that will be a huge benefit to loads and loads of people, unfortunately isn't a benefit to me because the Pixel 2 doesn't have wireless charging, is that there's a wireless charger in here. So if you have an iPhone X or 10 or whatever they're called, or an iPhone 8 or a variety of Android devices that allow you to use wireless charging, then you can actually charge your phone without needing any cables in your gimbal so that you can shoot for longer. And that's huge. That's really, really good because the main problem with filming on your phone is your battery just runs right down. And that kind of circumvents that whole problem. So that's pretty awesome. And as far as I'm aware, it's the only one that does it for now. But I could add a microphone to that quarter inch thread there, or I could add one to the top of the mount right there. So there are plenty of options for mounting things on this gimbal, which isn't often the case with mobile phone gimbals. I know that the Zhiyun Smooth 4, for example, doesn't have any mounting options apart from underneath to put little tripod legs. So when I used one of those and I needed external audio, I ended up having to actually use a smart clamp on the bottom of the base of the gimbal that held the microphone shooting off to the side. And it wasn't, it wasn't really convenient to have to have all of that extra on there. So having all of those mounting points, you know, you've got one on the top, one on the bottom here, you've got one on the back and one underneath, that just makes it a little bit easier to actually use all of the accessories that you might need in a shoot. Microphone, light, anything like that. I hope you found this useful. If you're interested in getting into mobile cinematography, I can highly recommend the Mini-Me by Moza, by Goodson, parent company. 
It's a great gimbal, it's very cheap, it offers a bunch of stuff that you won't find on other gimbals necessarily, and yeah, it's just, it's easy to use. It's, it's intuitive to use. It's nice. It's good. If you are interested in buying it and you're buying it straight from the goods and store, use DoD Media at checkout and it'll give you 5% off. Or there's an affiliate link in the description, which is an Amazon link, which will give me a percentage of the cut, but you won't pay anything more for it. Let me know in the comments what gimbal you use for your mobile cinematography. I can use this to pontificate. That's awesome. All right, hit that subscribe button, give this a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Cheers.